For this question, we were supposed to test whether the models added just in 2019 have a different city mile per gallon for gas and diesel and electric, two separate analyses, compared to models taken off the market. So we had to realize that there is a variable in jump called status. Status is right here. If I say analyze distribution and I bring status in, we'll see that there are three different values there, 2019 new, 2018 model ended, and then the rest here. Uh, that are ones that we're not interested in. So actually a different way that you could uh, get rid of that data and not do a local data filter is you could simply click on this group here that highlights that on the data table and then you could say rows and you could say hide and exclude and now we're going to be using just the data that we need or you could do a local data filter. I probably should have shown you to do it that way because that probably would be a little bit easier but then before you go on to the next analysis, you have to make sure that you unselect what's hidden so that you don't ruin that analysis. So I'm going to say analyze. I'm going to say fit y by x because we now have a categorical value, which is our status. And then we have the city miles per gallon, and we can do both of these at the same time. Uh, jump just gives us uh, that convenience of looking at both analyses. Then I'm going to click on OK. And we'll see that we have uh, both of these are here, the 2018 ended and the 2019 new. Some of you went astray when you had all three. You had this uh, 2018 and 2019 here, and then you went ahead and tried to do an analysis with three samples instead of two samples. So here I can hold down the control key, which I'm doing, and I can ask for a t-test. We use a t-test when we have two uh, samples. We assume unequal variances. That's the most common situation, and so the t-test is usually the best choice. And then we can look at our p-value, and for the city miles per gallon for gas and diesel, we our null hypothesis is that the means are the same. And because the p-value here for the two-tailed test is greater than 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And so we conclude that, based on the data that we have, there's no difference in these means. I could go up here and I could say display options and I could get the means diamonds and I would see that pretty much they look like they quite a bit overlap. If I go down to the next one for electric, I look at the p-value and here indeed we see that for the two-tailed test we have 0.0115 which is less than 0.05 and so we can conclude that we can reject the null hypothesis and then over here we can see that the difference is somewhere between 3 and 28. That's our 95% confidence interval. If that went across zero, then we would again not be able to conclude that there was a difference in the means. And we can see how much difference uh, there is if we want to look again at the means diamonds. Here, uh, there they are. And here it's pretty clear that they don't overlap, uh, although uh, they may overlap slightly here, and that's why it's very difficult to read this just by looking at it or eyeballing it. 